All right, so in this video here, we're going to look at um, how to do generative shape designs, known as um, GSD. Um, so you can do basically like surface modeling of advanced sort of um, shapes that you need. So uh, where this comes in handy for your F1 car is, you know, it could be the nose cone of your car, uh, it could be your, you know, your wings, um, because a lot of you will be doing 3D prints and stuff like that. You can um, get more sort of advanced sort of shapes uh, rather than just doing simple extrusions and fillets and stuff like that as well. Okay, so um, we'll look at the differences here. So we're going to start off a sketch and I'll just use this plane for now. All right, and you know, if we made a, a normal solid, you know, let's just make this a 30 by 30 mil square. Okay, and if we extruded that as a normal solid all right and we made this 30 all right you get a cube okay now you can use in inspect they've got section analysis so you can see inside to see if that is actually um hollow or solid so at the moment you can see obviously that's a, a hollow uh, sorry a solid shape all the way through okay now if we delete that body and I'll just make that sketch reappear. So, all right, this is the square that we just made before. All right, now, as you know, with the difference here, if we go to surface, all right, and we extrude this one, all right, we can extrude exactly like we did before. All right, but the main difference here is that obviously it's just extruding, all right, those lines. Okay, so this doesn't actually have any sort of volume sort of inside. It's not a solid object. It's just looking at the surfaces, all right? So, um, yeah, like I said before, you can do obviously advanced sort of shapes um, on different sort of work planes to try and get, um, yeah, more advanced and creative sort of shapes for your, uh, for your car, all right? Okay, so what we're going to do now is we'll just delete that surface body and we'll delete the sketch as well. Okay, now what we will focus on is um, yeah, doing the loft of the car because a lot of you would probably do something like this um, for your car as well. So if we start a sketch, and let's just say I do this plane here, the back. All right, I can start off with our canister housing. So the hole is generally about 19. And we'll make another circle, and this one here will do 30. All right, now we can use a line tool and just go. I might just start off from that middle, so it snaps on. There we go, and I'll do one on this side too. Awesome. So we can split the body here as well. So, and that's called the break tool. So if we go to modify, and you got break here. All right, so we can. Select the circles. I'm oh, sorry. No, we'll select the. Yeah, there you go. So we we'll select the arches. All right, and we'll break them from where that line is. Okay, so you can see we've got a semicircle here, semicircle there, and it's yeah broken off from these parts down here. All right, if we right click on the line, we can turn these into just construction lines all right so we want to turn all of these into a construction so i'll do this one again awesome so the only one that we really want to keep as a normal line is that one uh, which means these here as well we'll convert them over as well All right, sorry, I had to pause that video there. Yeah, a couple of them weren't doing as I was asking them to do. So now they're all construction lines. As you can see, they're dashed lines. The only one that we want is this one here, okay? So once that's done, let's finish the sketch. All right, we're just gonna change the view of this. Now, 
we want to create a loft that goes across this way. So if I did an offset plane and then select that plane there that's in line with the canister housing. And let's say we dragged it out to, let's just do 160. Press OK. Now on that work plane, I can start a sketch. And what we can do is in create, if we go to project, all right, and we can just project that line that goes all the way across. Now, if I finish the sketch and go back, all right, if we're doing a loft, it's going to loft from this line here, okay, all the way, or oh, sorry, that arc, sorry, all the way to this line over here. So uh, let's just find, might be in here, great, here we go. So we go loft. So we're going to loft from this line here, or this arc, all the way across to these lines here. Okay. So if I rotate the model, just press OK. Okay, so it's not a solid object. All right, it's just a surface all the way around. So you can already see, all right, we're starting to get something that looks like your nose cone. Okay, now, obviously, along the way, you probably have other shapes that um, make up this loft. All right, so if we just undo this for now, okay, we can put another work plane and we'll offset that from here. And let's say 60 mil across, we create another work plane. And we'll start a new sketch on there. All right, and this time we're going to um, project this one as well. So, uh, sorry, in create, go to projects, click here. All right, so let's finish that sketch. All right, so now we've got three different shapes that we can loft to. So, if we go back to loft, and we click here, so here's one profile, two, and then we go down to this line here. Oops, sorry, I just clicked on something I shouldn't have. Let's try that again quickly. That's better. All right, so now you can see it's lofted straight to that profile, and then it's come down to this. All right, now, that's the basic of how you can, or well, the basics of how you can do a loft um, with just the, um, with just your uh, surfaces. All right, but what we can do is add rails. So now we can add complex sort of shapes to this as well. All right, the only thing about rails though is it needs to meet perfectly where those profiles are. So uh, I'll show you how to do that now. So we'll just press okay. All right, so you can see how that works, it's all good. Uh, we'll just go undo, so we're back to this. All right, now we're going to start a sketch on this work plane now. Okay, so we can start organizing how this looks here. So um, what we can do to start off with is we want, obviously, uh, the rail that we're going to make to match up to the top of these and obviously down here as well to those profiles. So um, to do that, we can use uh, project again which once again it's here however the shortcut is p so i'm going to start tapping p from now on all right and i can click here and i'm going to project that one and that one there and press ok all right so we've got these markers here we can use another line you know if there's any other markers that you're sort of you know using as a guide so if you if you know for example here you have to make sure the body comes up by, I don't know, let's just say eight mil. All right, you can make little reference points along the way. So when you make your rail, you know where um, it should be because of certain parts on your car, okay? But otherwise what you do is use a spline, all right? And you'll see how this works in a sec. So I can go ahead and start clicking and it will start bending the line and creating a yeah, creative shape, okay? So I can go ahead and keep clicking all right now obviously you wouldn't want your car to look like this but 
All right, and if that's done, just right click OK. OK, and it will generate those lines there. Now, obviously, you can grab these and, and turn them. All right, if you want to change the shape. OK. All right, but we'll just leave it like that for now. OK, if we hit finish, you can start to see how that looks. So if we go back to loft, we're going to do the exact same thing as we did before. So from here to here, let's try that again. And then to the front. Okay, so that's exactly what we had before, but this time in the rails section here, we're going to add that new rail that we've put all the way along. So we'll click on that one. All right, and you can see straight away when I press OK that all of a sudden we've got these really intricate sort of shapes. Okay, so depending on obviously what you want to achieve with your car, you can do these kind of um, these kind of things as well. All right, now what we're going to do with this um, loft is obviously if you were using this shape and you wanted to then create your rear pods and stuff on there as well and your side pods, um, it becomes really hard when you've got this kind of shape on the side. So what you can do is we can get a line, which is another rail that cleans it off on the sides for us. Um, now to do this, let's just go undo and we'll get back to this section here. Now we're going to start, oh sorry, we're going to create an offset first, offset plane. And we want to get onto the side of the car here, which would be minus 15 for this side. Press OK. And we're going to start a sketch on that work plane. And simply all you're going to do from here is create a line that goes from the back of the car to the front. And just go right click. OK. All right. Finish that sketch, and we'll do the same for the other side. So we're going to go offset plane, this one, but this time we're going to go um, 15 on this side. I'll just spin the model around. All right, select sketch, or create sketch, sorry, on, on this one. And then once again, just do that line from the front, oh, sorry, the back to the front. Right click, and we'll go finish sketch. Awesome, all right, so now we've got all these different rails going on. So if we do what we did before and go to loft, all right, once again, you're gonna click on the profiles here. So one, two, and then this line at the front. All right, so it's easy. Now we're gonna do the rails so we'll start off with this one all right that's what we had before but we're also going to add in this rail and this rail cool so when you press ok all of a sudden you've got a really nice clean line that you can work with okay now like i said before it's really difficult from what you had before if you wanted to try and make the rest of your car out of that sort of shape now you can choose like how you want it to be nice and clean on the sides to suit your model that you're trying to design. Okay, now, um, obviously, you know that this has no thickness at the moment. It's not an actual 3D shape at the moment. All right, so in the next video, I'm going to show you um, how to add some thickness to this um, shape.